What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Poet. We all on that new MLB The Show 24, man. I hope y'all are excited about this shit because this game is about to be amazing. And what I got for y'all today is a hitting tutorial, man. I know y'all been asking about it since 23. I got a hitting tutorial for y'all. We finna get right into it. But first, you know what to do. Y'all know, subscribe to the page, leave a like, man. Tell your homeboys, because we coming up this season. This is going to be a big year for us. We're going to be doing our thing on Twitch and on YouTube. So if y'all not following the Twitch, I need y'all to come over here, because we live right now on launch night. We live right now on launch night. I need y'all to come over here. And we're going to be doing 24 hours the whole weekend. So I need y'all tapped in. And if, if you in the chat right now, if you in the chat, go ahead and hit that sub button on the YouTube, because we finna get to it. But right now, as y'all can see, I got that boy Zach versus Cody Bellinger. And right now it's righty versus lefty. So when I tend to do these, when I tend to go into at bats, what I tend to do mostly is like if he's throwing fastball, knuckle curve, choker change, cutter slider, what I tend to do mostly is just feel off like how the my opponent or the guy is using him. Because usually most guys nowadays, they just if you're in a game, say if you're in a ranked game, BR game, however, and he's throwing you a fastball, slider, change of mix, and you can't catch up to it. He's gonna keep throwing that until, you know what I'm saying, you catch up. So whichever one you catch up to first, whichever one you crack, like whichever one you crack first, he's gonna switch up his whole game plan. So it'll go from that mix, then it'll go like fastball, fastball, circle change. You know, something like that. But in this video, I'm just talking. I'm just excited about the game. I'm just talking and chatting. So right now, what we're doing is righty versus lefty. And how I tend to go in at bats, I take first pitch unless it's just clear cut. I'm on fire and it's something I know I can smash. But right here, I'm just looking at the release from the hand and the hat. I'm looking at the ball as soon as it comes out the hand and I'm just waiting for the pitch that I want. So. And what I do, I also, with my PCI, I just move my PCI in circles. I don't know if y'all can see, like this. And then just get my thumb warmed up for whenever, wherever the pitch may go. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, right then and there, wherever it is, I'm already ready to move. Right here, bow, perfect, perfect. Something like that. So, what I wanna do now, righty versus lefty is pretty easy for most people. What I wanna do is, um, keep Cody, but I want to put a lefty lefty in because this is where a lot of people tend to struggle with lefty lefty. And also, while we're here, the pitch locations right here, like this whole, I'm gonna address this whole thing. Let me move my camera real quick. As you'll see, you got the pitch frequency and you got the pitch location, which you could do right here in batting practice. You could go here and turn up the volume on what pitch you feel like you need to work on the most. So, if I want to turn up the fastball, He'll, the pitcher will throw the fastball more than likely while we're in batting practice mostly. And then I could choose whatever location I wanted to go to, whether it's high, you know what I'm saying, in the zone, or whether it's low. I could just pick wherever I want the ball to be, you know what I'm saying? Or I could go straight free for all, just reading the pitches. So right now, I just wanna show y'all how to do that. We gonna go high, top corner, left, do that. And if you want to practice, how this is how you would practice. You would treat it like a real at bat, but just like you know the ball is coming there, just getting your timing down on those fastballs that are coming to you lefty lefty. That itself will change your whole at bats, your whole dynamic of everything that you do. Because some of y'all look at it as, oh, it may be a ball or it may be a strike. And then you don't swing at it at all. So it's either you struck out or you swung at a bad pitch that was out of the zone and now you out. You get what I'm saying? So this is how you can work on fixing all of that. I know a lot of people want hitting, hitting tips and tricks. My, to, to me, just myself, what I what I do, I just, I'm just a patient at better. Like you won't see me as y'all seen in my previous videos in 23 and as you'll see in 24 going on, I don't just, chase all the pitches. I don't chase all the pitches or anything like that. I just wait for what I know is coming. So if we say, right, I get, this is a, that's, you know what I'm saying? These are just getting knocked out. Like we here, not all of them are great pieces, but they're there. They are good hits. 
So let's switch it up to, let's say he has a circle change. This is, this is one I want to show everybody because check this out. Them low ones that be in the dirt like that. Y'all, a lot of y'all see, I, if I'm watching, a lot of people I know tend to struggle with pictures outside the zone. How, the way you'll be able to tell if it's going to be low or in the zone or out the zone. Sorry, say right here. Look at where the ball is starting. The ball is starting at like, when it comes out his hand, it's damn near at his thigh. You gotta know that with a circle change, it's gonna drop, it changes. So it's literally like a change up, but it drops heavily. So it's always gonna drop. And then as you use your PCI, as I do looking out with the hand, if you follow the ball, you'll realize that, oh, you keep dropping it lower and lower and it's just gonna go out the zone. That way you don't swing at it. But to know that it's in the zone, we're going to switch it up. I'm going to keep both of them right there just so y'all see what I'm saying. So we know it's coming low, but we don't know where it's going to be outside the zone or in the zone. See, that was right on the line. So more than likely, they're going to call that a ball, but it could go either way. It could go either way. You just got to really be looking really hard. That's a strike, you know what I'm saying? They, it's just, it just depends on how that opponent you're facing against is pitching. So I really can't, I can sit here and say, yeah, right? He's gonna do this, he's gonna do that. But it's just how he's going that game, if you feel what I'm saying. So taking all that into consideration, how do y'all feel about going into 24? Because right now, 24 is feeling like a great game. Everybody thought it was going to be copy and, paste, copy and paste. But as you can tell, it is completely different. And one thing I want to show y'all again, this is a hitting tip video, but I'm going to throw this in there. We're going to throw the pitching in there as well, man. Yes, we're going to throw that pitching up in there as well. Right? Now, I don't want to use the batter for this. I just want to show y'all something. Y'all see the way this sinker is, right? When you throw in this pitch, I don't have it mastered down, so don't think I have it mastered down. But when you're throwing this pitch, you gotta be quick with it. And I say that because me, I'm always, more than likely when it comes to World Series, I'm always playing Hall of Fame, and then we get to Legend. Well, you can't have any mess ups on that difficulty, or if you go slow, I'm gonna show you what happens if you go slow and you just mess up. I can't even go slow no more. I gotta, I'm so, I've been so locked in pitching that I gotta get it right. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go slow for y'all. This is what happens. If you put it anywhere and you go slow. Terrible, as we know, terrible. And if you mess it up even more, it's gonna go right down the middle. And everybody know what happens when you go down the middle on shield woods. That thing is over there with the rocks, with the trees, with the dinosaurs that's extinct, every, every single last one of them, man. So we want to avoid that. So we just want to go real quick with it. And the best way to throw this pitch, you got to, as the, it'll show you before you pick it, but you got to go to the left, start down, go up real quick, and it's 100%. Now, I could, now what y'all noticed is, I said go to the left first. You know, last year, everybody had, no matter if it was a lefty or a righty pitcher, everybody had the exact, same motion of pitching. Now, it's totally different. With a lefty, you gotta go to the left. I'm gonna switch it to a righty. We go to Talian. The same pitch, the same sinker. You gotta go to the right, go down, and then come up. It's the same thing, but they enhanced it to where righties gotta go righty. It's like, everything start with a righty. Like, if it's a right-handed pitcher, everything starts to the right. If it's a left-handed pitcher, everything starts to the left. They, that's a big difference in the pitching this year. And pitching is gonna be a big thing, man. So if you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna give up a lot of runs. You go walk a lot of people. So I just want to get that game to y'all. I hope y'all enjoy this game. How I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm over here opening packs with the service hat. We now you know how it is on launch day. But till next time, it's your boy Poe. Leave a like, subscribe, share this with your people, man, because everybody gonna need it. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one.